The UK's keep calm and carry on approach to the coronavirus is in sharp contrast to many other countries. France, Germany and several other EU nations have banned large gatherings of people. And as Italians woke up to a countrywide lockdown, the tightest restrictions since the Second World War. It was business as usual at Britain's Cheltenham horse race meeting, the event drawing tens of thousands of visitors. The differences are stark. In Italy, Syria, our football matches went ahead, but without any fans. While in the UK's Premier League, stadiums were packed, although players did have to forego the traditional pre-game handshake. The British government says it's putting science at the heart of all coronavirus planning. It's resisted introducing checks at airports and banning public gatherings, saying there's very little scientific evidence the moves will help. Instead, the government's promoting a phased approach, contain, delay, research and mitigate. We remain in the contain phase of the outbreak, but watching what is happening around the world, our scientists think containment is extremely unlikely to work on its own, and that is why we are making extensive preparations for a move to the delay phase. The main strategy is based on stalling the peak of the virus until the summer, where there'll be less strain on the country's health service. However, experts now warn the virus will change pace in a matter of days, requiring action. So we are now very close to the time, probably within the next uh, 10 to 14 days, when the modelling would imply we should move to a situation where we say everybody who has even minor respiratory tract infections or a fever uh, should be self-isolating for seven days afterwards. The call for calm hasn't been entirely heeded. Supermarkets have been stripped of toilet paper and hand sanitizer as people stockpile for a crisis. On the one hand, you feel like you're getting information saying not to worry, but then you also are wondering if people are downplaying it not to cause panic. I think the big trouble is, is knowing what to believe from who. In the government's worst case scenario, 80% of the country could fall ill. The question is whether Britain will look back at this time and ask whether anything could and should have been done sooner.